Welcome. Today, as we look at kind of my 2026 setup overall, we're going to look at my 2026 hardware. So what I'm using, like literally right in front of me from my multiple monitors, laptop, keyboard, headphones. We'll get to all of it. Before we do that, if you want to support the channel, like, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff below. Or uh, one of the good things, if you want to, you know, look at the books I'm reading, you can join the book club, curtismichael.ca slash book club, one word. Let's dive in. So as a prep for this, I looked up my gear page, which is chrismichael.ca slash my dash gear. Uh, and I realized I haven't updated this in years because it's still like really only lists my iPad uh, as like my desktop computer, uh, which it was for a while, but it's been years, probably five, six years since it's really been that. Uh, in fact, I have a whole Mac studio that I never even talked about really that sits over there and runs like a server and runs my room stuff. Um, and that's probably the biggest change that I really don't run Mac, don't daily drive Mac OS at all as my main workstation. I run and have happily been running Fedora Linux um, for a few years now. And then probably over the last eight months, six, eight months, I've been running Hyperland as my desktop uh, environment. If you want to know about Hyperland, let me know. And I will do a video on that. Uh, honestly, it's just been great. <laughs> I have no, no complaints about uh, Linux at all. I, in many ways, prefer it, uh, especially Hyperland. It's excellent. But, you know, with that out of the way, let's talk about my computer and everything I've got for 2026. So I've been using uh, my framework 13-inch laptop for a few years now. I had, uh, I believe it was like an i5 to start because I wasn't sure about the machine. But then I've upgraded it to a Ryzen 7 7840U uh, mainboard, which literally just buy a new mainboard and stick it in. And it was easy. I had to get some new RAM and a new Wi-Fi chip for it as well. Otherwise, it was easy. It runs 64 gigabytes of RAM, a 2 terabyte uh, M.2 drive. Uh, where all my files live uh, is sitting on the machine. Uh, this comes with integrated graphics. What is it? A 7840U. Uh, comes with 80 AMD Radeon uh, 780M graphics, which work pretty good. Um, you probably can't hear it now. It does my fans do spin up when I'm recording. They do spin up when I'm editing video. They do spin up when I play games. But I play pretty light games. Silk Song, Hollow Knight, pretty light indie titles, 2D stuff. The only thing that I found as like a big detriment to having this computer is that DaVinci Resolve doesn't work, but that's a little bit more of a Linux problem uh, than anything else. Uh, it doesn't notice that there's an internal graphics card or graphics, so like integrated graphics, so it doesn't really do anything um, with it. And video, it installs, just no video shows up. So I end up using Kden Live, which is fine because most of my videos are really just chopping out any like throat clearing, anything like that. I'm not doing you know, lots of crazy editing with my videos. Now at my desk, I have three monitors. I look at as I mean monitor, uh, what is it? A Dell uh, U4320Q, 43 inch 4K monitor. On both sides, I have two LG 27UL500W 27 inch 4K monitors. They're vertical. Uh, I actually have a third one for secondary over there. I've had these monitors for years. I got one probably seven or eight years ago. I don't even remember now. I did a video on it way back then. Um, and they're just great. They're good monitors. I have one dead pixel on one, uh, but it's like my secondary monitor, so I don't really notice it that much. Maybe two dead pixels over there. Can't even see it now that I'm looking. Otherwise, they're just great monitors. Uh, they're reasonably inexpensive. They look good. Uh, that's it. No complaints about them. Uh, I would repurchase uh, this like if I could get it, uh, if one died. Now, I took all those peripherals up. I have two CalDigit uh, TS4 docks. Yeah, that's not cheap. <laughs> Um, the one on this side runs the one Dell and runs the LG monitor and a bunch of peripherals. My speakers go in there. We'll talk about those in a minute. The other one runs the other monitor over there and my, uh, webcam. So the webcam I use now is a ob, uh, obspot meet Two 4k for a long time. I was using uh, my Canon 90 D. Um, but I realized over the last number of months that I really missed having an actual camera. And I looked around at buying another actual camera to replace, uh, the 90 D. Uh, and like to be able to take out and take photos with the kids. It was so much more expensive than the Obspot. Uh, and when I looked at the video quality that I actually got out the end, so like looking at uh, OBS, I see a little bit of a difference between the Obspot uh, right now and uh, the Canon 90D. But by the time it comes out the other end, uh, no one notices. In fact, I sat here on a Zoom call with um, my coworker and said, hey, can you tell which camera I'm using? Which one looks nicer? And like none of my coworkers had any idea which camera looked nicer and they were wrong. Um, the Obsbot came up just as much as the Canon 90D as, oh, that one looks nicer today. So after about a week of testing, I just stuck with that little webcam and it is great. Uh, there's a bunch of features I don't get because I'm on Linux. So there's no, like, I don't have the controller app, but um, a little bit of uh, terminal hackery and I got the 4K working just fine and I have no complaints about it. It's worked great. 
Now, I even has probably the biggest thing that I do sometimes is I'm like, why isn't it working? Because it has this like little privacy shield that can magnet on. And I wonder why my camera's not working and it's because I have the privacy shield on. Now, audio at my desk, I have two options for audio really. Uh, the first one is some set of speakers. They're Edifier uh, R1700 BTS. It means they got Bluetooth and they have a sub uh, out. I don't use a sub out. Uh, because I have a large stereo over there with some large paradigm speakers and a large sub. If I really want to get some good bass in here, I turn that on, uh, which is what I do most of the days when it's just my wife here. When the kids are around, I often stick to the headphones instead. These, the Sennheiser HD 550. I talked about this recently uh, in my uh, video about good audio and how transitioning to intentionality with my audio listening really helped it be more meaningful to me. Uh, they were like, an absolute revelation uh, in sound quality. They are so much better. I actually sold my Apple AirPod uh, Maxes um, because they just didn't sound as good. And they were heavy and uncomfortable. So if you uh, watch this purchaser locally, sorry, I didn't like them anymore. Uh, and those are light. They are open-backed. So they don't have noise canceling, which means they wouldn't be as good, say, in a coffee shop. But around the house, the kids do make some noise right now over the holidays, but not enough that just some you know music at a reasonable volume it doesn't drown it out. Uh, and they... Honestly, just sound amazing. They sound so good. Now to run my audio interface, uh, I have a Steinberg UR22 Mark II. This was uh, just the good one they had at the local music store. So I p purchased it from them. Uh, that's where my headphones go in. Uh, and that is also where my mic, which is the Audio-Technica AT897. I've had that for a few years now. I've had this for a few years now. I've got this uh, probably the second year I was up here. And it, honestly, it sounds great. Uh, much better than my old, oh, what was this thing? much better than this old one the road i think it's your video cast video micro or something like that which i don't even know why i keep it because i have uh, probably i'm not sure i have a way to plug it in anymore this uh audio technica runs over xlr into the steinberg ur22 mark ii uh, and then comes out into obs uh or into my video calls and it's great uh it has enough external rejection of noise that like my wife can be on the other corner of my office and say something to me and like you can't hear it on a call um, here's something you can hear a few other things from other people in the house, but by and large, it is just a good quality microphone. Keyboard and mouse. So I've been using this is a Logitech MX Master 3S because uh, it's quiet. I have a MX Master 3 sitting over at that secondary desk there that I use for some things. Uh, I used to use it here. I switched to the S for no good reason rather than just have a spare mouse, and the S was on sale that day. As a keyboard, I'm still using a Moonlander. I never did a full review of this, but it's a fully ergonomic split programmable keyboard. Uh, I've been using it for at least five years. I've lived here for four. I got this before I moved up here, so four or five years. Uh, and it's excellent, no complaints. Uh, silver switches in it, I believe. Uh, I use different profiles for like, technically I have a Mac profile and a Linux profile, but I really only use the Linux profile now because I only use Linux with this keyboard. All right, this video station, this working area. Miscellaneous stuff on my desk. Uh, I do a little bit of gaming, like I said, Silk Song, Hollow Knight. And for that I use, oh, I'll just grab it here. This 8 bit uh, Do Pro Controller, or Ultimate Controller, I forget which one. I got that one because it was uh, compatible with the Switch as well, so we have a Switch upstairs. When I'm sitting at my desk, uh, it's wired in and actually has a dongle in the base, the charging base, uh, and I just use the dongle into Linux and it plays just fine. Uh, when the kids want to play and we need extra controllers upstairs, I just grab it, switch it over into the Bluetooth mode and connect to the switch directly. And then we have an extra controller. And I have one that's full size. Those switch controllers are so tiny. They're just like terrible in the hands. Uh, and then finally, I have uh, an anchor. Oh, pull it out and show you. Maybe. Oh. This is an anchor MagSafe charger. Um, oh, it tilts. I didn't know that. I don't actually see this now. Although the one that Belkin has looks almost exactly the same. So I use this MagSafe stick my phone on it. In theory, it charges my headphones as well, but I generally don't bring uh, my AirPod Pros to the desk. I just leave them uh, charging over in the charging station by the stereo. So upgrades. So I was actually going to replace this whole, this the computer setup with a desktop this year. That was the plan. And then RAM is crazy. So the 64 gigs of RAM I'd look at for my desktop went from like $300 to $900, $1,000 Canadian, $1,200 Canadian. That's just not worth it. Um, so now I've looked at adding an eGPU to this, uh, which would improve my gaming a little bit. Uh, it would definitely allow me to use um, DaVinci Resolve if I wanted, improve my video recording and rendering times because I'd have dedicated processors I could use. And now looking again at different options, AMD is the best for Linux. Uh, and as I've looked around, it's actually cheaper. Uh, it looks to me in Canada to buy like a brand new, I believe it's a 9070 
a 9060, uh, like a fairly brand new card that would be far more powerful, which would overwhelm the bandwidth that comes out of USB 4. Um, but it looks cheaper than an older 6600 series card, um, which by, by like double, <laughs> that's like half the price. Um, so I'm thinking about that. Uh, the other option would be upgrading the main board again to the Ryzen AI 9 HX main board. That would also mean I probably should buy an extra 64 gig of laptop RAM. Uh, well, I might have, I have to look around, I might have DDR5 32 gigs sitting around. Uh, and an enclosure for the current uh, AMD board I have, and I could have my secondary computer, like a desktop dedicated computer. I still have my i5 board sitting around uh, in an enclosure that I haven't really done anything with. Otherwise, I really don't have any dreamed of hardware upgrades. The laptop's been working great. I have no complaints with it. Um, I take it out, oh, probably once every other week, I take it out and go work at a coffee shop or something, or I've taken it traveling, and it's just excellent. I love the adjustable ports in the framework. I have no complaints. I would happily uh, buy it and continue. The only thing I'd love to see is, uh, say, and this is really DaVinci Resolve, supporting the ex the internal graphics module better. Um, just that I could f fix with uh, eGPU, or I could, um, yeah, I thought I could fix it. I'd love to have the fans be a little quieter too. Um, not that you can hear it, but I can hear it, and occasionally it that bothers me. This is like a total like whiny problem. It's not a big deal. I'd love to have the fans be quieter. That's it. Any questions about the hardware? Let me know below. Uh, otherwise, have an excellent day. You can help the channel by becoming a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership, subscribe, YouTube, bell, nonsense. Have an awesome day.